Good morning, this is Miss Ruth. This is a lesson on the map of the world. We live on a round, spherical planet called Earth. This globe is made to look like our Earth. Earth is made of land and water. We call the water oceans and we call the land continents. This continent is North America. This is where we live. And down here is South America. If we keep going, we have Europe, Africa, and Asia. And down here, another continent called Australia. Now at the bottom, what we call the South Pole, There is another continent, Antarctica. This is one solid piece of land covered in ice and snow. Now, when we're looking at our globe, <clears throat> you can see this side, but can you see North America and South America right now? I can, but you would need to turn the globe to see it. Now, I can't see North America and South America, but you can. So in order to look at the whole world at the same time, we need to actually cut the globe in half. And Antarctica is going to get cut in half too. Now we can put one side here and look at North and South America and put one side here and look at Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia. And then one half of Antarctica will go on this side and one half goes on this side. But we know that Antarctica is one piece of land. So we're going to make this map today. You will need templates of the continents to color and cut out, glue stick, scissors, and you're also going to need the large map paper. It looks like this. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing I need to do is look at the colors of the continents. North America is orange. South America is pink. So I need to get an orange colored pencil, pink colored pencil for the Western Hemisphere. Now for the Eastern Hemisphere, I need green, red, yellow, brown. I have here Australia. Australia is brown. Next step, I'm going to cut out my continent. I'm just stay as close to the line as I can. So I also have Africa, Asia, Europe, North and South America. And when I get to Antarctica, Antarctica is white, so I don't need to color it. The next step is to look at 
where these continents are on the map. North America is very close to the edge. So I made sure to glue North America very close to the top edge. And North America and South America are connected with this little piece of land touching right there. So I made sure the same thing happens here. The equator goes through the center, the widest part of the earth. And I know that the equator goes through South America. So I want to make sure that it's at least up to the middle of the circle. Now for Antarctica. So we'll go right about there. Okay, I finished placing the continents on my Western Hemisphere. Now I can do the same for the Eastern Hemisphere. Asia touches the edge of this map. I'm going to start there. Europe, this one is Italy, it looks kind of like a boot, it should fit right on there, and now Africa, you think? Do I need to move anything? Maybe this should go up a little. Okay, I'm ready to glue. And I'll finish getting this ready before the next step. Okay, I have my continents in place and I'm ready to paint. So I have my tray of paints and I'm going to go with a nice blue for the oceans because all of this land is surrounded by water. up. This is called the coastline, where the water meets the land. I like to paint my coastline first. This way I can fill in the rest of the ocean. Now this is the Caribbean, this whole area we call the Caribbean or the Caribbean and this part that I'm painting now is the Gulf of Mexico. See how there's land 
around us. Now, once I go around all of my coastlines, I can paint my ocean. Fill it all in. This ocean over here is the Pacific Ocean. All right, I finished my Western Hemisphere. And now I'm ready to paint my Eastern Hemisphere and then my map of the world will be complete. I hope you have fun making a map of the world. This is kind of a project with lots of different steps, so make sure that you take breaks when you need them. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful work, maybe hanging on the wall of your home. See you soon. Bye.